Hello, Sam here from TruckSmart. Uh, today we've been out and about visiting some new customers. Um, we've had some new leads come off some of the videos that we've been doing. Um, so today we're going and seeing a blue chip customer that wants uh, over 100 trailers restoring and a load of interior valets doing as well. So really good meeting uh, today, but the, the, the big thing was that the, the lead and the customer came from was filming these style videos. So. Um, more of that to come but today I wanted to um, talk about some things that I've learned over the last 12 years from running Truck Smart. So last week was our 12th year anniversary so we've been running this business for 12 years, built it from the ground up and what I wanted to do is put together a video of the 12 lessons that I've learned. So let's get into it then. Tip number one is to invest in your team. So over the last year, we've been working on a new training program. So for when we have new starters coming to the business, we want to get them up to speed and uh, valid to our standards as quick as we can. And one way that we do that is we've uh, sent all our new trainees on a, new, on a course. They go on a valeting course. Um, and also we've put together an online series that has a series of online videos and training techniques and it, it allows us to get our staff members up to speed a lot, lot quicker. And that's been a great investment for us over the last 12 months. So it's reaffirmed that we need to keep continually investing in our team. We're recently just um, having a extension built to our premises and that's gonna give us a, uh, a training room. So again, we can do more of that stuff moving forward uh, for our team members. So lesson number two uh, of one of the things that I've learned over the last 12 years is to continually invest in new equipment. In this business, we're really reliant on pressure washers, vans and other equipment to allow us to, to do the job. And in the early days, I think, you know, I obviously had just one pressure washer, one van and, you know, when that went wrong, we, I couldn't do the work. So we continually invest in new equipment and particularly over the last 12 months we've brought a number of new pressure washers i think eight in total we've replaced we've put new ones onto the fleet so um for me it's something that you continually need to do in this business is invest in it and buy new equipment so lesson number three has been to consistently use quality chemicals um, over the last couple of years we've uh, changed to to AutoSmart as a supplier and we solely use AutoSmart chemicals. Um, they've, they've been fantastic and we're really happy with the results. Um, but for me, you can use inferior products, but it's a decision that we take and to use high quality chemicals that we know we can rely on and trust and get a consistent result from. Um, so that's been a big win for us over the last couple of years. So lesson number four is to uh, standardize the setup. Um, so we've got multiple number of vans within our business. And one thing we started to do this last year is to standardize every single van. So every van within the fleet has exactly the same tank, exactly the same frame, pressure washer, brushes, everything is the same. Um, whereas previously we'd had loads of different vans that had different setups. And the reason that we've standardized it is so that it aids continuity. So if ever we have a van that's off the road for servicing or it's off the road for a MOT, we're gonna to have to send one of our guys out in a in a spare van. And we wanted to make sure that we've got the same setup in each van. So that's, that, that makes that process a lot easier. So lesson number five is for us to regularly put staff on standby. Now, we're like every business, we rely on uh, people and sometimes people are ill and they're sick and they're off work um, for whatever reason. So what we do regularly now is we actually put staff on standby just in case um, because we want to ensure that we've got that continuity throughout the seven days that we operate. We want to make sure that we are consistently going out to site and delivering on what we say we're going to deliver on. So for us, the last few years has been um, a focus on making sure that we've, we've got staff on standby ready to work. So lesson number six is that we can't actually help everybody. Um, and how I mean that is that 
when I first started the business, we had a lot of smaller customers. So, you know, we had customers with up to 10 trucks. But as we've grown and as we scaled the business, I've kind of realized that, you know, we our target market is actually companies that have got over 10 trucks that are more corporate, that, that continually want these uh, trucks cleaning. So for me, over the last probably four or five years, I've focused a lot more on, on us building more corporate customers and building that, that aspect of the business up. So lesson number seven is that um, we need to continually ensure that trucks are washed or cleaned on a regular basis. So when we first set the business up, it was a case of we did a lot of ad hoc work. Um, and what we found was that when we were coming to clean them again, they were just really, really dirty. And it was taking a, it was a bit of a battle to get them back up to scratch. So what we do now is that whenever we take on a new customer, we ensure that they come on either on a weekly, fortnightly or a monthly schedule. Uh, but by far the most popular is a fortnightly clean in terms of exterior truck washing. Interior is a little bit different. They're roughly every month, but we need to make sure that they're cleaned on a regular cycle because otherwise it gets out of hand and it, it becomes harder to bring them back into line. Um, so now moving forward, we ensure that all the work we take on um, customers uh, have them cleaned on a regular basis. So lesson number eight is the uh, probably the importance of the expansion of the interior valeting side of the business. So up until about three or four years ago, we used to do the odd interior valet, but definitely what we've seen more of now is companies wanting to invest in a regular cleaning program for their interiors. You know, years ago, you used to be able to allocate a truck to one or two drivers, uh, whereas now drivers need to jump in multiple trucks and that's just the nature of operations now is that there might be two drivers in it every day, uh, different drivers every single day. So nobody wants to take ownership of that one vehicle if they're jumping in a new vehicle every day. So one of the things that we've done to help combat that is, is launch a regular valeting program. So it's um, one that a big supermarket customer has recently uh, taken on and recently uh, we're doing for them. So they have their trucks cleaned on monthly cycles. So they have a little mini valet to keep on top of them moving forward. And that's a trend that we're seeing more towards now. You know, we, we probably used to do 10% interior valeted. Now it's, you know, accounting for nearly half of our business. So um, it's definitely a trend that we're seeing companies move more towards. So lesson number nine is that uh, I'm seeing a trend towards more businesses wanting to use a more professional uh, supplier. So years ago when I started, there was a lot of one, one man bands going around cleaning trucks and we slowly started to see that disappear and bigger companies, you know, your supermarket chains, your supply chain operators are wanting to deal with one specific um, supplier or a bigger supplier. If you're dealing with a one-man band, there's a lot of risk involved there. You know, if they go on holiday, if they're off sick. So I'm seeing a trend towards the industry professionalising and companies wanting to deal with a more professional outfit to ensure that they've got a continual uh, service. So lesson number 10 is that um, highlighting the importance of building long-term relationships with our, with our customers. It's probably part of the reason of our success over the last 12 years is that a lot of the customers that we've got now have been with us since the start and it's really highlighted to me particularly over the last few years is that importance of building a long lasting relationship with with your customers and continuing to do a quality job continuing to be reliable and and for me that's that's contributed towards our success is is that is that fantastic customer relationship that we spend a lot of time building. So lesson number 11 is uh, to build repeatable processes. And one of the things that has helped us, particularly as we've grown over the last few or four years, is to create those repeatable processes and systems within the business. And one of the things that we've done is to create our three-step pro uh, three wash process, is to foam, brush, and, and rinse the trucks down. And this is a process that can be taught to, to our staff in training and it ensures that 
our customers get a standardized offering wherever they are in the country. We, we want to make sure that a truck washed in you know, Scotland is the same to having a truck washed in Birmingham or the same results as a truck washed in Cornwall. So for me, uh, building those systems and processes over the last few years and, and allowing us to train our staff in, in those processes has really helped us over the last few years. So lesson number 12, final lesson today is to ensure that we have staff rotation through all of our jobs. Now typically, you know, we might allocate one or two key staff to a particular job. Um, and that's fine, that's what we like to do moving forward, but we also like to ensure that all of the staff get rotated through every single job. And that helps us with continuity. If staff are off, then we're not going from, from zero. We, we know the job, the staff know what they've, they've got to do at that particular site. So we're continually trying to rotate our guys through, through the jobs so that they learn each individual site and can help uh, our, our customers continue the service. So here we are, we're back at base after a day on the road visiting some new customers. We hope you enjoyed the 12 lessons from 12 years in business from TruckSmart. If you like this, uh, please subscribe to the YouTube channel where we've got loads more videos about the company. And uh, thank you for watching.